Okay, now that all the porting, blending, and all that's done, the next step we're going to do is I'm going to take my tap and die set and I chase every bolt hole in the head, clean the threads up, valve covers, the sides, all that. Make sure all the threads are good. I know I've got one or two I'm going to have to helicoil. But uh, this is the next step is secure all the stuff mechanically. And once I get that done, then I'll put the valve guides in and do the valve job. But I just wanted to let you see my tap die set on these 441s for Mike Edwards. We, like I said, that's part of every process of every head bites head, older head. Uh, even in a stage one or even a stock job, I always chase them all, clean them all up. Determine if they need heel coils and just take a good sound mechanical look at the head overall because nothing is worse than getting a set of heads you put some money in and being sitting there tightening a nut or a bolt up and having it not work. So let's go on to the next part. Okay, it's just real simple. You know, you take your threads, these are 3 8 coarse, and you run them all the way through. I got my air compressor nozzle right by. As soon as I get done, I'm going to blow them out. And I'll take them out and I'll take a flashlight and inspect them. I got a little bit of light, believe it or not, that'll fit down in there on the threads. So that's all. Just chase them all out. And uh, I just wanted to show you this little tidbit real quick. Take a drill bit, I'll let you know what size it is. I just got one that barely went in the hole. And you go through each one of these by hand. If you get one that's clogged, you hook your drill up to it and you make sure the hole is clear. You do this on every one of these holes because a lot of times they're clogged and these little things like this is what makes a motor run hot or cool. But anyway, this is what you do. You slide it in, and if it won't go through, I've actually heard of people going in there and enlarging them just a touch. Uh, it might help some. I just make sure that the existing hole is there, is good and clear like that, and if it is, then I go on to the next one. All right. Okay. What I've got this in here for, this is just a light. I'll turn my light on, and I go inside there, and I can see how badly that the threads are damaged. Uh, and if it looks like if they're damaged too much, that's when I put a helicoil. Basically, I go in there and I look to see if I can barely see threads. Here's one right here. This one's going to have to have a helicoil put in it. So I put a little X right there. Okay, this is the best way to do it to ensure, and yeah, this one's going to have to have one too. So, I'm just going through here, through each hole, with this little flashlight, and making sure that all of the threads are good, and if i got to put a helicoil, now's the time to do it, so Mr. Edwards don't get to bolting his head zone, and have a problem once he's already torqued the head down 